moment that all designers live for. This is the moment that we get to bring our clients into the finished product. It's where all the elements come together perfectly to create the home of their dreams. This is the reveal. I'm so excited to bring you in and let you be a part of it. Hey guys, we're here in Brentwood, Tennessee at a really special project. This is actually my home and I cannot wait to show you inside. We were so lucky that we were able to start from scratch when we got to build our house about six years ago. We worked with Pfeffer to Road Architects here in Nashville and I wanted something that felt a little bit French but just very clean and understated. So I started with a white brick that's got a little bit of texture. We did cedar planking and then we also did limestone above the window. So instead of having traditional shutters, I wanted to do something with a little bit more texture. And then as far as decorating, I had these benches made that really fill this space nicely and just give it a little drama and a little contrast to the white. And then of course, these doors are probably my favorite thing about the exterior. These are mahogany doors that I designed and had made and just stained them really dark. And I think they're just so welcoming and such a great contrast to the white. When we designed our house, I really wanted to have a room that you entered into. Rather than having a formal foyer, I just wanted to come right into the space and just be really welcoming. This has turned out to be the best entertaining spot for us. And it's also my favorite because I have two little kids that are super messy and this is the only room in our house that ever is clean. So <laughs> it doesn't normally look like this, but it's clean and fresh and great. However, since I do have little kids, all of our furniture is Sunbrella performance fabric, perennials, it's all those things so it can be easily cleaned with little kids. Um, added a little bit of whimsy with these pillows which are by Benson Cobb and so it's a little bit of a tie-dye moment. And then trying to mix in kind of the boho fun elements with the antiques. I found this antique um, several years ago at the Antique and Garden Show here in Nashville and I love it because it's so sweet and it's got this beautiful patina to it and this finish. Same goes with this armoire. This is Belgian. I found this years ago and it's just kind of traveled with me. <laughs> um, and it's pretty clanky, but it, um, it just adds such warmth and texture. So when you have an all white room, it can be a little tough to uh, make it feel really warm and inviting. And I think these pieces really do that. And then just kind of grand and stately is the limestone mantle, which I love because it's modern. And again, it's just such a nice juxtaposition between these antiques and also um, the more modern touches. There's truly not a room in our house that's off limits to kids. To do this though, I had to be strategic about different textiles, vinyls, leathers, wood, iron, all the things that are easy to clean and basically indestructible. And since we don't have the typical dining room, um, I didn't think we'd ever use it. So we decided to make the salon kind of the living dining area. And this has been great because it's functioned so well for us and when we've had dinner and we've had kids and it's just a really open, big space. One thing I do love too about this room is this piece of art I got years ago and it's one of the most special things to me. It's on an antique easel and I just love the sentimental part of it and just obviously it's beautiful in and of itself. And then this light is just so feminine and beautiful and I worried and worried when I was building the house if these were too, too girly. So I finally let myself do it. I'm so happy I did. I think they're really a pretty feminine touch.
really love about open concept floor plans is that you can really, everybody can gather at the kitchen, but you can still talk with everybody, cook, and it's just a really fabulous way to kind of let your house move and live. This is a marble countertop we did on our island. It's Calcutta Gold, and I will say, it was a little bit of splurge for me, but there was nothing I could find that I liked as much. And so I'm really happy that I did this. It is polished, so it gets etched and it gets a little bit stained, which doesn't bother me, it's just patina. Um, speaking of etching, these glass pendant above the island are really beautiful. They have a little bit of that feminine antique touch, which I love with the mix of the metal hood that's a little bit more masculine and streamlined. And I did match the hood to the range. there was a bit of a learning curve with my French range. I do love it. And over the years, it's become very easy to use. I've hosted Thanksgiving here a few times. Of course, I make tons of frozen pizzas and overall love the functionality and of course the way it looks. love this kitchen. I love that it's a little glam. It has a lot of contrast and, and it's really worked well for us. So I'm also going to show you the reason my kitchen is so clean is because everything that's real life is hidden in my working pantry. So come this way. And this is our working pantry and I will say it is the workhorse of this house. It has been a great way for us to keep all the extra food and drinks when we're entertaining in here. We can keep all the not so pretty appliances in here, um, coffee makers, toasters, all those type things. And it's also given me a little bit of a spot to display. I don't have a lot of shelving, but I do have this. And this is just a group of glassware and ceramic pieces that I've collected over the years. Some are for my grandmother, some my mom got me, some I collected and I just love that it's a little pop of color in an otherwise all white room. And it's also really personal to me. In our last house, we walked into the house through a tiny laundry room. And it was one thing I really disliked about the house because I immediately felt crowded and it felt messy. So when we designed this house, I made sure the mudroom was really large and we had plenty of room for storage, but also we just had room for pretty. So I did this great wallpaper. It's kind of like a neutral leopard print and I even did it on the ceiling. So it shows off the ceiling details. This is another detail that I used in my family powder room too. Great wallpaper and on the ceiling as well. Even though it does get messy with kids' shoes and sports equipment and coats and gloves and hats, it's still a beautiful space that is welcoming when you walk in. And I was saying earlier, I do love the open concept. This is our breakfast room and where we eat all of our meals, where we do all of our crafts. If you look closely, there's paint and all kinds of stuff on this table from the kids, but I love it because it just kind of adds the patina and it feels really old and just homey. And then these chairs, this is a this is a great find because these were red velvet and they were really worn out and aged, but they're from the 60s and I just love the style of them. So I had them recovered in this kind of white ostrich print vinyl. So they again are wipeable. You can see that's a theme throughout my house, um, but I do love how they're modern. And then I have some antiques mixed in like this French screen behind me and this angel that I found um, at the antique show here. And it just kind of is a good mix of all the things I love with the modern, um, the more rustic, and then obviously antiques. our house, I made an effort to use really family-friendly finishes. I wanted the kids to feel comfortable, but I also wanted to be able to easily clean. 
So throughout our space, especially the kitchen and adjacent living room, I've used wood counter stools that are wipeable, vinyl chairs at our dining table, which are wipeable, leather, iron, rustic wood, and really patinaed pieces. All in all, it makes it kind of a functional, beautiful space with no worry. Of course, with two little kids, it was really important to me that we had a really comfy and cozy family room that everybody could lounge in and be comfortable in. And since we had these really white, white walls and white drapery, I really wanted to add something more masculine with some weight to it. So I did the dark brown sofas, which are so practical for us as well. And then I had this table made that was just really generous in size that we could kind of keep all our books, remotes, all those things on too. And we even play games in here. So this has really been a great fit for us. And I do love that it's really beautiful and unique. primary lounge. It's adjacent to our master bedroom. And what I love about this room, and when I design spaces in general, is that it's always a bonus to add a seating area to the primary suite to really give it a luxe feel, almost like staying in a hotel. My very favorite space in my home is definitely the primary lounge. It has all my design books, all my beautiful accessories that I've collected over the years, and of course, fantastic wallpaper that was such a splurge, but is worth it every time I walk in the door. I especially love how the greenery from the outside plays beautifully against the wallpaper and the other colors in the primary lounge. The light in our primary lounge is truly one of my favorite fixtures in our entire home. It was actually used in a show home I did many years ago, and I just couldn't let it go after the show. So it came home with me, and I truly love it. It's called The Cloud, and it is definitely dreamy and ethereal. walking out of the master lounge, you can walk just a few feet over. This is our bedroom and it's not huge, you can tell, and that's why we chose to do the master lounge separately. I wanted this to be much more cozy and dramatic, so I used some washable velvet, which feels very luxe and very glam, and then, you know, one of my favorite neutrals, animal print as a lumbar, and then just like a little bit of touch of the south with a monogram on our bedding. I had this bed made. This is just a gathered, very simple bed, but it's got some height to it. And then above it, I use this antique painting and it just kind of pulls all these rich, these rich colors together and just gives it a really cozy feel. The neutral tones and classic style of this rug makes the space feel so warm and pulled together. The chandelier in the primary bedroom is one of my favorite pieces in our home. The unique color of the glass, the layered wire across the top, and the grand scale add an edgy vibe to the otherwise traditional room. We're here in the ensuite bath. It's simple yet elegant and full of light. I did all the cabinetry in the same shade of white. I did brass hardware. And then I also did a soaking tub. This tub is really interesting because I was 
down in Columbia, Tennessee, just south of here, and there was a big junkyard with all these tubs. And so I was building a house at the time and I thought, oh my gosh, I need an antique tub. I need one of those tubs because there's a story. And so lo and behold, this man redid the tub for me and he says it's from 1898. I have no earthly idea what it's from, but it is an antique. And then I paired it with this little antique chair that I found at a little antique store here. So it's got a really feminine, fun vibe. And then I kind of modernized it a bit with the Lucite stand with this kind of more modern sculpture on it. So it's got a fun mix of new and old. Here's another place where the closet doors are tall, adding scale to the space. We also did the same with the drapery again, as you've seen throughout the house. All of the plumbing fixtures throughout our home are unlacquered brass. When we built the home back in 2015, it was a little challenging to find this finish. It's simply brass that hasn't been coated to keep the shine. So as it ages, it gets that great patina. It looks old and imperfect and just really beautiful. As you come up the stairs, you get to the landing. And this room has become just kind of an overflow for our family. It's in between my kids' rooms. And so we often read out here, hang out here, play games here. It's a great spot for that. It stays quiet and it's kind of away from everything else. And I wanted something for me specifically in this space. So I have this huge painting by Jennifer Gibbs. It's a collage painting. I absolutely love it because it's a bold subject matter, obviously, but very soft in the palette. So it's really a good mix. It stays really quiet and kind of calm, but with a lot of drama. And then these chairs I found, I drove down the street to my office maybe three years ago and I saw these in the window of a really funky, crazy vintage shop and went in and bought them. And two days later, a friend of mine called and said, did you buy those chairs out of the window? Because she'd seen them too, but I got them. So they're here and I have really loved them. They're actually surprisingly comfy. And then just to kind of mix it up a little bit, I did do the white drapes again, but I put a really fun kind of rock star band on them. So they have a little bit of shimmer and just a little bit of unexpected touch. This is my daughter Marlo's room, and this is probably the sweetest room in our house for sure. I wanted it to be really classic, and I, I said when I was pregnant, classic Southern baby. So I did this dogwood print that's actually a reproduction from the 20s, so I love that. And then I kind of carried that over onto the panels. Of course, I have black outlining in that shade for baby sleep. And then this is actually just a regular storage chest that I'll keep for her forever. But with the sconces, what I did is I actually took the closet doors, or pink, I took the same color and had the painters paint the shade. So just a little bit of feminine touch, but we're not overwhelmingly pink. So we're not swimming in pink, we just have little touches here and there. Another fun thing I did for her, that's just kind of whimsical, is this lamp. It's this fun gold sculptural lamp. It's actually paper mache. It's by a company in Chattanooga. And I just love how whimsical and fun it is, and it also has a great scale, so it really fills up this space. Black outlining and drapery is my go-to for any bedroom, especially a baby's room, or if you're just looking to get really good sleep. You can also see I took the drapery all the way to the ceiling in here, which expands the size of the room and makes it feel very luxe and finished. 
And just across from our landing is our guest room. This room has plenty of drama. It's got a little bit traditional, a little bit more modern pieces. This chandelier is actually so cool. I found it and it was made for candles. So I had it rewired and reworked so it could be a light fixture for the guest room. Again, just to add some drama, I had this bed made by my friend Skip. We have worked together forever. He does beautiful work. And I love how this felt a little bit vintage, but also really current. And that's really why I like to mix the modern textures, like this throw pillow with a more traditional, kind of soft and relaxed linen. I think that's a really good mix. And again, like the really big oversized lamps mixed with the chandelier, I just love how homey that feels. added this wet bar just right outside our media room because we really wanted it to be one big entertaining space so we wouldn't have to go downstairs we would have an own dedicated bar here and I used the antique brass shelves because I thought that felt a little French and a little bistro mixed with the hexagon marble so it just keeps it really classic and crisp but then I mixed in this really deep green I thought this would be a great way to have a really masculine element but also inject a little color in the interiors. me all the time because I'm a designer is your whole house white because they've seen lots of pictures of other rooms it absolutely is not as you can see in this room this room is very dark it is black it's got some added millwork on the walls And I really wanted to create kind of this like club, lounge, moody feel. So I had this really deep distressed leather sofa, velvet chairs with nail head detail, and then this really wild carpet that kind of looks like an animal print. It's neutral, but it's definitely got a lot of pattern. And I really just love how everything feels chunkier, more masculine, and just really cozy. building our house, I never planned on having a pool. But as we started the building process, every mom that I talked to that was a friend said, if you build a pool, all the kids will be at your house. And so of course, went home that day and I said, Mark, we have to have a pool, we have to have a pool. And it is truly one of the best decisions we made because we've had so many friends here, especially since our kids have been small. This is a great activity and a way to just gather all our friends here. We've made so many sweet memories, late nights with pool and pizza and all the kids playing and it's been really special. spaces filled with everyday utility. I am so happy to be able to show you 
that you don't have to sacrifice style for functionality. Neutral colors, aged brass, animal prints, and glossy jewel tones are some of my favorite ways to style a space. As you've seen on the tour, I really love bringing antiques into my space mixed with more modern elements and fresh new spaces. I hope you love what we did and thank you so much for watching. I'm Julie Couch and I'll see you next time.